Hi, I'm Dobby the Fixing Elf. Welcome to What's in My Toolbox, the series where I show you the tools I use to repair cars and fix things. In this instalment, we have this Draper digital multimeter. This is the DMM200. Quite a handy little multimeter. I've had it for a few months now. I switched it out for my old one which I was using, which was the Wilco one that I've already done a video on. There'll be a link somewhere around here for it. It has some handy features, which I'll show you in a close-up in just a moment of all the different settings it's got and all. The leads live on the back here, they're quite handily stored, that's one of the main features. So you just pop them out. I like how it comes with these little protective covers on the end of the uh, probes. Really helpful to stop you from jabbing yourself with them. It also has removable leads, so they just pop out and pop in, which is great. So if you need to put it to amps, that's where you do that. So here's a little close-up of the multimeter the screen as you can see it has a hold button which I'll show you more on that in a minute it also has a light let me just quickly turn it on to a setting so let me just quickly set it to DC volts and then if I hit the light button as you can see the screen lights up and makes it really readable and easy to see the hold button again will hold functions but I'll show you more on that in just a moment obviously you've got a dial selector so we so going clockwise round we have AC voltage, uh, DC amps, uh, we also have a HTF which is this section here, we also have a diode mode, we have a continuity mode and then we have resistance which goes from 200 all the way up to 2 mega ohm and then we also have DC volts so it goes from 2 micro volts all the way up to 600 volts DC I should have mentioned that with the AC as well, it goes from 600 volts down to 200 volts, so anywhere in that range. The meter also has this really handy kickstand, which is perfect for holding up when you're trying to look at, which I'm going to do now. So let's quickly flip it down to resistance, uh, I'll put it on 2k, and we'll pop these leads off, these ends off, protectors, and then I'll grab in this a sensor from a um, uh, car, I can't believe it's a Peugeot, but I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. But it is a, I uh, believe, a uh, gearbox position sensor, or something like that. I've just turned the light on, as you can see there, it's quite handy. And if I probe in here, so let's get these probes in now. There are quite small little delicate pins in here to find. And I have got a camera in the way, so it makes it slightly more difficult. Get that one on first, and then we'll get that one on. As you can see, we now have a resistance reading of 570 ohms. And that's how you check a resistance. This is a perfectly good sensor. That's always good. Like I said, quite handy. That was a slightly more difficult one. I will show the other features. It has got a hold feature as well. So, let me just wrap this resistor around here for a second, just to make it easier. And then we've got the other end around here. And as you can see, we have 220 ohms. If I hit the light button, so you can see it a bit clearer, and hit the hold button. And then I remove the resistor. It will hold that value for you. So if you're trying to probe something, and like that switch sensor, for instance, so it's difficult, you could use the hold feature. Very handy. Obviously, there's all the other features of um, any normal multimeter. So we've got continuity. Let me flip it around. So if you need to check you've got continuity between two places, just quickly tap them together. This also works through cable and wire, so you put this one end and this on the other. You will get a beep like that, as long as the wire's not broken. So perfect for checking the continuity between wires. Got a nice good beep as well, which is always a bit of a bugbear of mine, being partially deaf. It does make it quite difficult to hear the beep sometimes. This one's quite loud, so that's always good. So my final thoughts on this multimeter. I really do enjoy using it. I like the fact that it's got a place to hold the um, probes. So as you can see, they slide in there quite nicely. Just pop in, and they're nicely insecure. It, and as I said, I've, this one has overtaken the use of my Wilco one that I used before. I use this every day now for checking connections, checking uh, all sorts of different electrical problems. Very handy. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, 
let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.